Hello everyone, welcome to AKP Zyte Tech. Today I am going to explore two most popular IoT camera modules, ESP32 Cam and Raspberry Pi camera module. Which one is better? Let's find out. For both the camera modules, I am using MicroPython. Let's start the process with ESP32 Cam. For both the camera modules, I am going to create webcam servers. First, I am starting with ESP32 Cam. For ESP32 Cam, I am using Thony IDE. Now the program already uploaded in my ESP32 Cam camera module. Now the ESP32 webcam server is ready. Let's go to the URL. Now this is the settings page of ESP32 Cam. Let's explore the options we can have for ESP32 Cam. Now these are the resolutions we can try for ESP32. Next quality factor, contrast, saturation, brightness, special effect, white balance. So these are the critical options we can try for ESP32 Cam. Here I am using 1024 by 768 resolution. Let's start the ESP32 Cam webcam server. Now you can visualize the live streaming from ESP32 Cam. Here I am using the basic Raspberry Pi camera module and it's connected with Raspberry Pi 0 W. Let's configure the Pi camera module in headless mode. For that, let's start VNC viewer. Now, the Raspberry Pi webcam server is ready. Let's access it. Now, you can visualize the Raspberry Pi webcam server and the image resolution is also 1024 by 720. So, let's compare both the webcam server. Both the webcam servers are running and you can visualize the quality of both the webcam servers. In terms of image and video quality, obviously Raspberry Pi camera module is the clear winner. But in terms of cost, the ESP32 cam is the preferred one. Because in ESP32 cam, we have inbuilt ESP32 microcontroller. But in Raspberry Pi camera module, we don't have any microcontroller. We need to purchase a separate microcontroller like Raspberry Pi Zero and other Raspberry Pi boards. So, if cost is the prime factor, then I think ESP32 CAM is the best one. But in terms of programming and customization, Raspberry Pi camera module will give you better choice and better scope for your project. So, if you have any doubt, query regarding the video, please feel free to communicate with me in the comment section of the video. Thank you. And for the code, I will share the GitHub link.